So when we're doing worship signals for this song, My King Forever, it depends on how many sections of the song there are, right? So we're going to signal for the verses as one, we're going to signal for the chorus as two, and we'll also signal for the bridge as three. So we'll just do three signals. Um, if you do this, it just means like an instrumental or a free praise moment. Next song is obviously two things together or to crush out big or to bring it down. You know, you're doing the clenched fist for a crush out um, or ending. So verse, chorus, bridge. For my king forever, uh, we're try it in the key of A for the male worship leader. So G or A is a good key for males to lead. And I would say D or E would be good for females to lead. This is in six, eight for the time signature. Um, as you see, we've got a four measure intro. Uh, we go through verse one and two, everybody in unison together. And then you can bring the female harmony in for the first time during the first chorus. There's another four measure intro. And then you can add the female harmony for verse three and a double chorus. Then there is an eight measure instrumental on the bridge chords before you get to the bridge. Um, it goes through the bridge lyrics three times total. So the first time everyone's in unison, the second time all the females are singing a low female line, and the third time everybody jumps a third. So the female um, harmony line will be a mid and a high, okay? And then you do a double female harmony chorus. And then when they go back to the bridge big at the very end, uh, you sing the mid-high female range because they're just up in the stratosphere. So this is My King Forever, the key of A for the male worship leader. So all males take melody. Um, and for verse one and two, these are back to back at the beginning of the song, we'll have all the ladies also sing in unison. Verse one. You gave your life for mine. So that's where the ladies register is. You crucified. So you can just go through that. For verse one and verse two, two, same thing. So no harmony on those two. This is the chorus where the female sings this harmony um, when we're doing it in the key of A for a male worship leader. Just note that um, there's nuances to this harmony line um, between chorus one, chorus two, three, where it repeats, and then also after the bridge. But this is the stock chorus female harmony when we do this song uh, for a male worship leader. This is verse three in the key of A. So males have the melody, but the female harmony line sounds like this. Verse three. You saw the gates of my heart. Between apart, you hold the keys to the grave. You bring things to life. We're going to launch into the bridge. So it repeats the bridge three times. So I'm calling this bridge one, bridge two, and bridge three. For bridge one, everyone, male and female, are on unison. When it jumps to bridge two, you can add the low female harmony. So all the females can sing this low harmony together. Then you jump, the low female jumps a third to the mid and they also add a high female. So I'm gonna play through all three bridges right now. So start on unison. Hands up, lay my whole life down. That's where the ladies register is. For you. Now you can add the low female harmony. Is that a 
the high Back to the chorus. So depending on your range, you can choose what to sing. It's good to learn all three. So if I was a female vocalist, I would learn the low harmony, the mid harmony, and the high, and then find what's comfortable. 